Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to be showing you the little beauty area that I have set up in my second bedroom. This bedroom is, you know, kind of for my son, but I just wanted to also have my little beauty corner just set up over here because it's just too much going on in my room and it wouldn't fit. So, we made it work and if you're interested in seeing this video, then keep on watching. Okay, so as you open the door to the room, here is, see how I was saying, it's just a little section. I just have this little picture set up here. My perfume and the nine drawer Alex set from Ikea. A little side table, the mom dresser, and an Ikea chair. The little um, window curtain, and then another picture. So now I will go through everything individually and show you girls how I have it all set up. Okay, so right here on top of the nine drawer unit, I just have my perfumes out. And right back here, this is the Bath and Body Works fragrance that I'm currently using at the moment. And it's Rio Rumberry. Then I just have this little Hello Kitty earring holder. I have Ed Hardy Rihanna. Another Ed Hardy. A Victoria's Secret body spray that's basically empty. Um, Princess by Vera Wang. Chanel Mademoiselle. I have Sugar Rut, Sugar, Pink Sugar by Aqualina, excuse me. Um, Dulce and Gabbana, Rose the One. Viva La Juicy, Flower Balm, a Victoria's Secret bombshell that's actually empty, but I just love the bottle. I have Miss Dior, um, a Charlotte Russe one, a Hello Kitty perfume, a Coco Mademoiselle little um, body oil, Pure Temptation by Victoria's Secret, and then another little Victoria's Secret body mist. Then I just have here a body butter that I'm currently using, jewelry box from Emmanuel, and then a little Valentine's Day card that came with my flowers from him. Okay, now with the nine drawer set, I basically just put things that, you know, would really just go in like a makeup and beauty room. Okay, at, in this, in all these little, these little plastic containers, I got these at Walmart. Now, in the top here, I have all of my bracelets. Then I have more bracelets, bracelets right there. I have my Michael Kors watch box, some little random bracelets from Nigeria, and then some Juicy Couture charm boxes. Okay, the second drawer has earrings in it, and a little, this one is my Juicy Couture necklace, and then just a random little pouch back there from Princess Hair Shop. This drawer is kind of more random. It has just like an umbrella, travel size body washes from Victoria's Secret, scarves, and things like that. In the fourth drawer, I have here my Mademoiselle little um, refill sprays, the Juicy Couture necklace box, which I'm not sure why that's not in there, but whatever. I just have here some little perfume samples they get, you know, when you order things or when you go to Sephora, and just nail polishes. As you can tell, I'm not a huge nail polish junkie. The fifth drawer has kind of more of a random variety. I have here my favorite makeup remover wipes, a brush roll, a makeup bag, and then both of my camera chargers right there. Okay, this drawer is a hair drawer, and as you can see, I just have like some hair oils. These are kind of products more for like weave, I guess you could say. And these are just back there, I just have like needle and thread and sample products, um, some little hair serums, comb, brush, and flexi rods, and then just some more little hair products over there. The seventh drawer is more is hair tools and typically my flat iron is in there but it's in the bathroom right now. So I just have my hair dryer, the curling wand, my little travel case for the curling wand and flat iron, and then my hot rollers. The eighth drawer houses all of my Bath and Body Works and Victoria's Secret products. Um, there was just no other where to put, no other place to put them so I just stored them in the drawer and periodically I will change them out with the ones that are on top. Okay, and then the last and final drawer is just my natural hair care drawer. And pretty much, besides that hairspray back there, but other than that, it's just pretty much, you know, all of my oils and, like, 
aloe vera gel, mixed chicks. Well, actually, there's no oils in there except one. The other ones are in my count under my bathroom counter because they wouldn't fit in there. So, just like some leave-in conditioners and things of that nature. I have this little. It's like a little wire um, dress form thingy, and I'm sure y'all have seen that before. And it just houses all of my earrings that you can, you're able to hang on there. And then that's just the picture of Emmanuel and I from a wedding that we went to like a couple years ago. Okay, now on to my little desk vanity area. I got this desk and chair from Ikea. The chair was $80 and the vanity was, I want to say $129. And it's called the Mom. And it does come with the little glass piece that's on top. And underneath, as you can just see, I just have a little trash can. I got that at Ross for like $5.99. And then over there, I just have my acrylic drawer set. And it just has random stuff in it. So I'll go ahead and start with everything that's on top. This little clear acrylic thing, I got this at Target. And it was on clearance actually for about 8 or $9. Okay, in this first compartment, I just have more of like everyday products and it's just my little BB cream, my foundation which I actually need to get more of, my powder, my favorite NARS blush which is Orgasm, and then my two concealers, one for brows and one for under eye. And just my little Hello Kitty mirror. I have some little clips here on the side. Then back here I just have Fix Plus, eye makeup remover, model in a bottle, my two moisturizers because this one actually has the stuff in it, um, salaic, I can't say the word, I, salaic acid, whatever it is. And during pregnancy, it's just recommended that you don't use products with that in it. So I had to switch to the Clean and Clear Morning Glow, which doesn't have um, that salaic acid in it. Then I just have a little hand lotion. My This says alcohol, but it's not alcohol. It's actually MAC Brush Cleaner. A pair of two makeup remover wipes and my little cotton ball container and q-tip container and I just got these at, at Target for like $1.99 each then right here we have hand sanitizer and then I just have my kabuki brush and my beauty blender um, that I got like from Avon or something the mirror I got from Ikea also and I think I want to say it was ten dollars okay guys sorry about the different lighting changes but it's kind of difficult to film this in the daytime now my brushes those are actually candles from Bath and Body Works that I just cleaned out and got all the um, wax out because I didn't like the smell anymore and the beads are from Hobby Lobby and I just put those on the little tray and I got that from the tray I got from Home Goods for about $15 or so. And then, if you're wondering what that is on it, it's just like some little old lashes. Okay, the flowers I just got at Dollar Tree, and they're just like a couple of different random ones in this little jar. And then I got the palette holder from, it's actually, you know, the one of those little letter files. And I got that from Staples. And then on top, I just keep all of my MAC lipsticks. And I got that acrylic holder at Container Store. And then right there, that's not, I don't know who that is. It's just the factory picture that it came with. And I'm actually just going to put a picture of Christian. One of my friends got that at the baby shower. And now here it is with the drawer all pulled out. And that's just all of the little containers I was telling you about. That I got those at Walmart as well. And the arrangement that I got fit perfectly in the drawer. And I'll just briefly go through and tell you how I have all of the makeup organized. Okay, now right here in this top one, I just keep base products such as blushes and my mineralized skin finishes, a little e.l.f. palette, prep and prime, and the banana powder. The second one has all of my foundation second one has all of my foundation and concealers. In this drawer we just have eyeliner, paint pot, and like my little professional and some other kind of like base product like oh another eyeshadow primer and stuff. The next container just has all of the pencil type products, different eyeliners. It also has, hmm that one's supposed to be over there, okay. It has different eyeliners and 
like a couple of jumbo pencils and lip liners okay this one has all of my mascaras then in this drawer we just have single eyeshadows like just little eyeshadow palettes and single palettes um, glitter liners pigments things like that right here I have tools like pencil sharpener and scissors tweezers eyelash curler tape stuff like that this drawer has my lashes and then the last and final one has lip products and those are just like you know lip glosses and different lipsticks and then like I said in that thing is just really 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 random like there's different little hair stuff in there I keep my scarf where I tie my hair up every night stuff like that here's the overview of what the top looks like and I hope you found this video helpful and I will talk to you girls later bye